Hello, hello everybody and welcome to the session. I hope all of you had a blast of a day and here we are with yet another wonderful session on your favorite YouTube channel Vedantu Young Wonders. So welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, hi Komal, hi Isha, hi Titan, I am legend. Kaise likto yaar naam aise? Hi Mano, okay, Mano just Sneha, okay, hi Sneha, hi Deepika, hi Karthik, hi Deeksha, awesome, welcome to the session everybody, I hope all of you what did, uh, no, had an amazing, amazing uh, day today, just give me one minute, kuch to gadbad hai yaar yaar pe, just give me one minute, acha, uh, ek minute, Achha, sorry, I am extremely sorry. I opened the one I had to record. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. NCRT Highlands Grade 7th. I'm going to go to Grade 7th. Where is the 6th? Ka ka se aa gaya, hai na? So, the other one I had to record for the holidays. So, let us just. Okay. Okay. So, today we are going to do a lot of I am going to give you a few most important things that you would need for your, uh, what do you call it, uh, for the chapter data handling from your NCRT also. Because NCRT mein thode bhoat aise lines hai, which will definitely come for one mark question ya match the following mein poochte hai, something like that. So I have highlighted that for you guys. I'll be showing you what are the important things you should be knowing before every exercise. And also, I will be sharing my notes, my personalized notes where I have highlighted the important things in our Telegram channel. So if you are not part of the Telegram channel yet, the link is there in the description box. Soon after the session, I'm going to post the PDF of the notes in that channel. So join kar lena and make sure that you're downloading and going through that PDF before your exams. Okay? Okay? Awesome. Hi Nihal. Hi Neelam. Hi Harikish. Oh, Harikishan is Mayank. Hi Mayank. Uh, hi Prati. Hi Anand. Hi Anushka Kumari. Okay, welcome to the session guys. If you haven't hit the like button yet, do hit the like button. This is your master teacher Hari Priya and I am here to make maths easy peasy, pizza cheesy for all of you. So today we are going to most important questions of your exercise. NCRT ke exercise problems we are going to do and also going to revise few highlights from your NCRT textbook. Okay? So you can also follow me on Instagram. You will be getting the updates, life updates, uh, session updates and all fun reels and all of that. So do not forget to follow me on Instagram as well. My Insta handle is haripriya.vedantu. So let us get started with the chapter. I want to first revise. Uh, so I want to first revise this thing for all of you. Like, jo maine highlights abhi kiya hai, whatever highlights I've done, I'm going to revise that. Okay? So I hope all of you are able to see the chapter, data handling. Yes? Is it clear enough? Should I zoom a little more? Okay. Yes? Come on, I can see uh, how many lives are there. 18 people live, but only 9 lives. What are the other 9 doing? Huh? Come on, hit the like button right now. Then I will start and show you the most important things you need. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay? Let me become Chutanku also so that uh, you can see the content. Okay? Done? Hi, study with Kanika. Hi, Chaitanya. Welcome. Done, done. Awesome, awesome. Chalo guys, do not forget to hit the like button. Make sure that we are reaching at least 50 likes before the session ends. 50 is very low, man. I mean, where are 100, 200 likes? Now, we are asking for 50, we are asking 50 likes. <laughs> Anyways, let us get started. We are starting with the chapter, uh, data handling. So, first of all, let me tell you all the important points that I feel that we have. So, first of all, introduction is what is data handling, what is data. So data is just collection of facts. It can be in form of numbers. It can be in form of attributes, uh, you know, description of a thing or measurements or anything like that. Okay. So that was the introduction part. Next comes collecting data. So why do we collect data and what is the need to collect data? 
that only you can answer hai na so if you are collecting suppose you have a project to do for your summer vacations or do, during your diwali holidays somebody has given a project for that you will have to collect data by asking other people so first you need to know what do we need it for why what is the use what is it going to be the main crux of why we are collecting data for example if i asked how many people uh, celebrate diwali in your society so you need you need that information ki what what am i collecting you can't randomly go to people and ask right so random people on the road no i asked number of people who celebrate diwali in your society so before collecting data we need to know what would be the use of it you will not want to study the performances of uh, your class you know, of the of the class in mathematics performance of india in football and cricket so you need to have a aim before you randomly start collecting the data once you collect the data it is super important to organize that data so randomly if you take numbers like this look at this 23 35 48 30 what is that are you getting any sense out of these numbers no so that's why organizing data is super important and we usually organize the data in tabular form what form we will be doing it in tabular form as you can all see here this is called as our tabular form okay so that is how you organize the data now you have a lot of data for example there has been a rainfall in your city for five continuous days okay for five continuous days there was a rainfall on the sixth day i will ask you how much rainfall has happened in your city so you can't say ma'am monday ko 3 mm tuesday ko 10 mm uh, wednesday ko to i don't think there was any rainfall thursday ko 4 mm so you don't have the time to tell all of it right so we want a representative value what do we want we want a representative value which represents the entire data okay so now to represent that one value we need that will represent the entire data how do we get those values by our arithmetic mean mode median range and so on so coming to the most important part of the chapter arithmetic mean what is arithmetic mean sum of all the observations that we have divided by the total number of observations will give you arithmetic mean of the data arithmetic mean keh sakte ho you can also call it as average or just mean of the data any of it if they ask you to calculate the mean or average or arithmetic mean you can just go with sum of all the observations divided by the total number of observations okay all clear all clear yes awesome awesome quickly give me a yo in the chat box is everything clear yes Hi Kanishka. Yes, please listen to what ma'am is telling. You are right, Manoj Bhaira. Awesome, awesome. Love the energy, guys. Okay, so we are going to move forward. Okay, we are going to move forward, and the next thing we are going to learn is about range of the data. How do we find the value of range of a data? highest value minus the lowest value let's take this example here so you have the ages in years of 10 teachers of your school so there's 32 41 28 54 aapko kya lagta hai what is my age think and comment in the under the video so here you need to find out the range of the data what is going to be the range highest value whatever is the maximum value of the data take that minus the lowest value what is the lowest value of all you have 23 is there any value less than 23 no so highest minus lowest will give you the range of the data so you can say all my teachers are around the age of 31 okay 
मनोज आपको लग रहा है मैं थर्टी फोर की हूँ नाइनटी इट सीम्स वाह सो आई एम सो फिट फॉर नाइनटी इयर्स आई एम हैप्पी हाई नीलाम आई एम नॉट इग्नोरिंग यू बच्चा हेलो नाइनटीन इट सीम्स वाह no 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 okay anyways nf of my age so what is range highest value minus the lowest value in the data so let's move forward with our exercise 3.1 we have reached exercise 3.1 i have hand picked few important questions that you will have to do so let us get started theek hai okay explain again what arin what should i explain again Hi, Vanshika. Acha, Neelam is Vanshika. Ma'am, your age is twenty-six. You are right. You are right. Okay, okay. Hi, Kanishka. Hi, Vanshika. Chalo. Let us get started with the first question. Question number two of exercise three point one. Organize the following marks in a uh, in a class assess assessment in tabular form so what is that you have to do you can see that there are few values which are repeating itself so first uh, first of all write down marks okay and then number of students who got that marks okay so you have to write it in a tabular form so use a scale and a pencil one marks how many student got has, has got one mark only one student Two marks. How many students have got two marks? One, two. Two students have got two marks. How many got three marks? One. Only one student has got three marks. So like that, you will have to write it in a tabular form. One mark. How many students have got mar one mark? That is going to be your frequency. What is the definition of frequency? the number of times a particular thing is repeating itself occurring is called as frequency and you can also represent that using your tally marks please remember whenever they give you to write a data in tabular form don't forget your friend tally marks tally marks should always be there okay so now they are asking which mark has the which mark is the highest uh, which sorry which number is the highest and which number is the lowest so the maximum marks maximum number of students have got 5 marks and minimum value here would be uh, one clearly one okay so you can see three also you can see eight and nine but i want the least number of all so the least number has to be one uh, and here the maximum marks is nine i understand but if they ask you what is the maximum number of marks majority of students have got so that would be 5 5 five marks a lot of students matlab five students have got five marks awesome okay hi chaitanya no problem bachcha no problem chalo let's move on to the next question question number 7 of exercise 3.1 The enrollment in a school during six consecutive years was the was as follows. Find the mean enrollment of the school for this period. What will you do here? Somebody tell me in the chat box. What are you going to do when the question like this comes? Data is given to you. They are asking you to find the mean, average, arithmetic mean. What will you do? Chaitanya, you missed a little part. You can watch that. ठीक है? Exactly. Atif has got it right. Total divided by sorry, add by the uh, divided by the total. Correct, correct. Hi ASP. After a long time, you are attending the class. Add all and divide. Amazing. So some of the observations. One five five five. Plus sixteen seventy, plus seventeen fifty, plus two thousand and thirteen, plus two thousand five hundred and forty, plus two thousand eight hundred and twenty. Sum of all the observations divided by the total number of observations. How many total number of observations are there? Six. So this will give you the mean, the arithmetic mean or average. 
So the answer is 2058. Awesome. Very good. Very good. Guys, hit the like button if you haven't hit the like button yet. Subscribe to the channel if you are a new member here. Chalo. Ninth question of exercise 3.1. The heights of 10 girls are measured in centimeters and the result are as shown. What is the height of the tallest girl? So whatever number is the biggest, that would be the height of the tallest girl. And I can see 151 centimeter is the biggest. Do you see anything else? Nothing. So the height of the tallest girl is 151 centimeters. Very good. Very good, Atif, Gulab, uh, and then Kanishka. Awesome. What is the height of the shortest girl? The least number is 132. Now, what is the range of the data? Guys, what's the range of the data? Can someone tell me the range of the data? Third question. Okay. Exactly. Good job. ASP music, it's not 91. Check, check, check. It's 128. I said, do we have 120? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It is 128. Extremely, extremely sorry. It's 128. See, be very careful. It's 128. Okay. Now, what is the difference? Yes, yes, you are correct. You are correct, Manoj. 151 minus 132. Good job, Angel. Uh, not 132 here, sorry. It is 128 because less than 132 is 128. Okay? Oh, awesome, awesome. So, the range of the data is 151 minus 128. Okay, okay, everybody. Awesome, awesome. Yes, you got it right. 23. Amazing. Now, what is the mean height? What will you do again to find the mean height? Sum of all the observations divided by 10 will give you the mean of the observation. So, I'm just going to skip to the good part here. So, sum of all the observations here will give you 1414 divided by 10. So, that would be 141.4. Now, what is this? This is the average height. Now, what is that? 141.4. 141.4 centimeters. Now, look at the fifth question very carefully. How many girls have heights more than the mean height? So, you have to list down the number of girls whose height is greater than 141.4 centimeters. So, what are the numbers greater than 141? We have 150. We have 151. We have 146, 149, 143. Can we count 141? No. We want number of girls whose height is greater than 141.4. 141 is less than that. So, how many girls are there? Very good. So, totally there are 5 girls whose height is greater than the average height of the class. Okay? Yes? Come on, quickly give me a yo in the chat box. Everybody understood? Understood? Okay, awesome, awesome. Just give me one minute here. Chalo. Next, we are going to talk about more mean, median and mode. Let me go back to this question, this uh, you know, textbook here again. So the next thing we are going to learn about is how, what is going to be the mode and median of the data. Then we'll go back and do that question. Okay? Uh, please, 10 day study challenge. Shubha, I will definitely try. I will definitely try to do that. Okay? Once we are done with this NCRT example questions ka series, we will definitely do it. Yes, very good, Atif. What is mode? Something that repeats itself a maximum number of times in a data is called as mode. So, mode is of a set of observation is the observation that occurs most often. 
the observation that occurs maximum number of times is called as the mode of the data. For example, you have a data like this. So it's always a good hygiene to always arrange the data in increasing order. When it comes to mode, yeah, median, always arrange the data. This is the trick that I'm going to tell you guys. You will not make a mistake here. Okay, once you arrange the data in increasing order, you will not make a mistake. So they have given us scattered data. We have arranged the data in ascending order. And now when you see, 2 has repeated itself the maximum number of times. 4 times you have got 2 in the data. So the mode of the data is 2. Now guys, I have a question for all of you. Can we have 2 values for mode yes or no? Can we have two values for mode yes or no? Hi, ASP Music, but I'm not ignoring you. Okay, yes, 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 awesome. Anushka Kumari, thank you for the rescue. Awesome, awesome. Love the energy, guys. The correct answer is yes, you can have two yeah three values for mode but when it comes to median please remember underline this when it comes to mean median range you can only have one value for all of them but when it comes to mode of the data you can have more than one value please remember that okay hi samarth yeah awesome awesome Hi Neha, thank you so much. Chalo. So now you know what is the mode of the data, right? We know what is range, what is mean and what is the mode of the data. And next let's move forward with the median of the data. So to find the median, the first step you have to do is arrange the data. Arrange the data in ascending order. Yeah, descending order. Matlab big to small, which is our descending order. Or small to big, which is our ascending order. So what is the definition here? Arrange the data in ascending or descending order. After you arrange them, the middle value of the data is nothing but the median of the data. Now it becomes very easy when you have odd numbers. For example, you have... 3, 7, 1, 4, 6. You have to find the median of the data. 3, 7, 1, 4, 6. What is the first step you will do? Arrange the data in ascending order. So 1, 3, 4, 6, 7. Now what is the number of observations? We have 5 observations. Where 5 is an odd number. So how do we find the mid value? Here though you can see 4 is the mid value. Very easy. Hai na? But how do we find it with formula? You will only get marks when you apply the formula. Right? So you have to do n plus 1 by 2th term. So what is n? 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 by 2 will give you third term of the data. What is your third term of the data? 4. So, what is the median of the data? 4. Okay. Thank you, Devans. Do not forget to hit the like button. Hi, feel the music. Awesome. Awesome. Now, when it is num when the number of observations is odd, it is very easy peasy, pizza cheesy to find out. But what if we have even number of observations? For example, let's take 10. Uh, 6, 7, 1, 3 and 2. How many number of observations do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The number of observations is 6 which is an even number. Hena? So how do we find out? The first step is going to be the same guys. The first step will be the same. Arrange them in ascending order. Yeah, descending order. So I am going to arrange them in descending order now. 10, 7, 6, 3, 2 and 1. So what will we do? Now we have two mid values. When you see, we have two mid values, 6 and 3. 
so can we have two values for the median also then no you can't have that so how can you get one value when you have two values you will have to take the average so the formula that you'll have to follow is n by 2 the term so 6 by 2 which is the third term okay what is the third term here 6 and n by 2 plus 1th term matla fourth term the fourth term is 3 so the third term and the fourth term are the midpoint so what will you do you will take the average number of observations are 2 divided by the total number of observations so here 6 plus 3 will give you 9 by 2 which is equal to 4.5 so what is the median 4.5 so, when you have even number of observations, you will have two middle values. So, you have to take the average of the two middle values. Awesome. Okay, everybody. Awesome. Thank you, Summer. Hi, Lakshmi Priya. I can see 33 people watching. But guys, likes ka hai? Mere. Huh? So much knowledge we are giving you likes ka hai? And also, if you are new here, we will have week quiz. Don't worry. And whatever notes I'm scribbling on the NCRT textbook, whatever things I've highlighted for you guys for one mark questions or match the following and all of that, MCQ questions, you can get all these notes in our Telegram channel. So if you have not joined our Telegram channel yet, the link, is, uh, the link for that is in the description box. You can join. Soon after the session, I will post this as a PDF in the Telegram group. And you can download from there. Okay, you'll get all the notes. Okay, chalo. It's time to move forward with exercise 3.2. I have handpicked all the important things that you need. But before that, let's do this question as well. Okay, thank you kan Kanishka. You're not well Chaitanya, please take care. And do not watch the screen for a longer time. Okay, rest your eyes. Starting with Kanishka has already got the answer. Thank you, Gulab. Ma'am, I subscribe to the channel. Awesome, Samarth. Okay. So, first we will find the mean. How will we find the mean? Sum of all the observations divided by the total number of observations. Very good. Now, how do you find the mode? The observation which is repeating the maximum number of times. Can somebody tell me what is it the, what's the mode? Yes, yes. Good job. Good job. Your mode is going to be 15 because 15 has repeated itself three times. And how do you find the median? You first have to arrange the data in ascending order. So 6, then you have 8, then you have 10 and 10 twice. After 10 you have 15 thrice. And after 15, it's 50, then 100, oh no, 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 then 80. You have to be super careful. Please cross check after you write also 80, then 100, and then 120. Okay. So, what is the number of observations? 11, which is an odd number. So, what will we do? N plus 1 by 2 term. Matlab, N plus 1 is 11 plus 1, 12. 12 by 2th term is the 6th term. So, what is the 6th term? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Awesome. So, what is your median? Your median is also 15. Amazing. ISP music. I saw your answer. Good job. Awesome. Everybody, great work. What, why, Prachi? What do you mean, why? It is different in my book. How is it different in your book? Uh, all good, all good. So, mean of the data is sum of all the observations divided by the total. Mode is something which repeats itself the maximum number of times. Here it is 50. And median is the, since n is equals to 11, which is an odd number, so it will be the middle value n plus 1 by 2. 12 by 2, that is the 6th term. The 6th term here would be 15. Okay. Okay, ASP. Samad, you are actually in 8th standard. 
कोई नहीं एट्थ में भी यू विल बी नीडिंग डेटा हैंडलिंग डेटा हैंडलिंग इज देयर इन सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड सेवन स्टैंडर्ड एंड एट्थ स्टैंडर्ड विल यू टेक एल जी ब्रैक एक्सप्रेशन इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास या नो वेट आई हैव टू चेक वॉट इज कवर्ट कम्स आफ्टर डेटा हैंडलिंग आई चेक एंड लेट यू नो ठीक है ओके but we will do for all the chapters guys so just be on time and be uh, regular to the classes how can you do that subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon whenever there is a schedule coming up which comes up every day in the morning so you can check and you know uh, mark set a reminder and never miss a class okay at the next one simple equation so we will be revising simple equations next okay chalo the next question The weights of fifteen students of a class are given. Find the mode and median, and is there more than one mode? What is the mode? Something that repeats itself the maximum number of times. So for that, we are going to first arrange the data in ascending order. Now, after arranging the data, I have got to know that thirty-eight is repeating three times. Forty-three is also repeating three times. So can we have two modes here? Yes. So the mode of the data is thirty-eight. And forty-three. How do you find the median? The number of observations is an odd number, so it is n plus one by two term. So fifteen plus one is sixteen. Sixteen by two is eight. What is the eighth term? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the eighth term here is forty. So what is the median? Forty. Can we have two modes? Yes, thirty-eight and forty-three. Okay, awesome, awesome. Somebody block cute boy here, please. Okay, now next question, next exercise. I mean, tell whether the statement is true or false. Okay, everybody, read the first one. The mode is always one of the numbers of the data, yes or no. Can I say that mode is one of the numbers of the data? Come on, come on, come on! Hurry up! No, false. Are you true? V A V R L has got it right. Chaitanya got it right. Guys, the statement here is true. Mode is always one of the always one of the numbers of the data. See, thirty-eight and forty-three are modes. Thirty-eight and forty-three are the numbers of the data. So the answer here is yes, true. It's true. Okay, second one. The mean is one of the numbers of the data. True or false? Can we say the number which repeats as many times as the set of data? Yes, you're right. We are real. Exactly. This statement is false. Sometimes we can get a mean which is not a part of the data. So the first one is a true statement, and the second one is a false statement. The third one, median is always one of the numbers in a data. Can we see that? Say that median is always one of the numbers of the data. Yes or false? True or false? Diksha, are you sure? Chaitanya, are you sure this is true? Guys. Remember, I gave you this example. How to find the median of when the number is or when the number of uh, observations are even? What did we get the mean? We got sorry. What did we get the median? We got the median as four point five. Is four point five part of the data? False. Exactly. When the number of observations are even, sometimes you might not get. the same value so the statement here is false not always only when your n is an odd number if the number of observations are odd then yes you it will always be one of the numbers of the data but when it is n when an when n is a number of uh, sorry when the number of observations is an even number it can't happen okay very good very good book mein true hai बुक में ट्रू है बट देखो अगर इवन नंबर है तो वो गलत है ना तो दे हैव नॉट टेकन दैट इनटू कंसीडरेशन 
तो एक्चुअली क्या हुआ है एनसीआर में देव नॉट गिवेन अ केस वेर वी कैन हैव इवन नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन वो सिलेबस में है ही नहीं ओके देव ऑलवेज टेक एन एग्जाम्पल या एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन जहाँ पे नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन आर ऑल है ना तो इसीलिए जब इवन ऑब्जर्वेशन हो जाएंगे तब तो गलत हो गया फिर है ना सो दे शुड मैंशन वेन एन इज इक्वल टू ऑल वेन एन इज एन ऑड नंबर नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन आर ऑल देन यस मीडियन इज ऑलवेज वन ऑफ द नंबर ठीक है ओके एग्जाम में आप ट्रू लिखना अगर आ रहे हैं तो मार्क्स कट हो जाएंगे अगर आप फॉल्स लिख रहे हो तो टेल टेल अ रीजन कि हरिप्रिया मैम ने बोला है कि वेन एन इज इक्वल टू इवन इट्स नॉट ऑलवेज ट्रू हम लोग एन सी आर टी सी बी एस ई का यूज कर रहे हैं प्राची ओके नाउ हियर द स्टेटमेंट इज फॉल्स बिकॉज दे टोल्ड द मीन इज नाइन बट वेन यू एड द नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन डिवाइडेड बाई द टोटल यू विल गेट एट Hence the statement is false. Okay. Next question, we're going to talk about bar graph. But before that, let me tell you the important things you need to know for bar graph. Where is it? Ha. Huh. So bar graph is what? It's a graphical display of a data which we have written in tabulated form. So whenever the data is written in tabular form, you can make a graphical version of it also. So that is called as bar graph. remember the width of each bar graph should be the same the spacing that you do between the bar graphs also should be the same and the height of the bar graph is nothing but the frequency what what defines the height of the bar graph the frequency defines the height of the bar graph and then we have our double bar graph what is it it's a bigger brother of bar graph Now, when do we use double bar graph? When we have two sets of data to compare. So instead of writing two different bar graphs, we're going to combine them together into one graph here, and it would look something like this. So you can see two bars, one here, one here, right? So there are two bar graphs. Cool, everybody. So this is how uh, this is what a bar double bar graph is. It's mainly used when you have to compare two sets of data. Okay, we are here comparing Margaret and we have a uh, Abir Din, whose marks we are comparing. I guess no number of sunshine, hours of sunshine in these two places. I guess okay, right? So this is what we are comparing. So we are going to put both of them into the same graph. So when you have something to compare. two attributes to compare then we can use our double bar graph okay so let's move forward with exercise 3.3 uh math half yearly exam awesome devant how did you know how did you do it hi saikit today is your birthday oh hi tintu happy birthday tintu is such a cute name <laughs> chalo Read the bar graph which shows the number of books sold by the bookstore during five consecutive years and answer the following about how many books were sold in 1989 1990 1992 1989 so there were books around between 100 to 120 maybe let's say 180 books were sold in 1990 between 400 to 500 let's say 480 books were sold 1992 Between two hundred to three hundred books were sold. Okay, so as you can clearly see here, you can write any number. It can be two eighty, two ninety five, because it's not precisely correct. Cool. Now, in which year were about four hundred and seventy five books sold? About two hundred to fifty five books sold. So, in which year around four seventy five books sold? Four seventy five lies between four hundred and five hundred. So, which year's bar graph is between four hundred and five hundred? Nineteen ninety. When you check out the nineteen ninety ka height, it is somewhere between your four hundred and five hundred, which is nothing but four seventy five. Now, about two twenty five books were sold. मतलब it lies between two hundred and three hundred. So that is nineteen ninety two. See, the height of this bar graph lies between somewhere between two hundred and Three hundred. So this is nineteen ninety-two. Okay, which year? In which years were 
fewer than 250 books were sold less than 250 books were sold in which which years as you can see in year 1989 okay bob 1989 can you explain how you would estimate the number of books sold in 1989 so how many books were sold check out the height of the bar graph somewhere here so it lies between 100 to 200 okay so it is divided into cell box box actually if you have if we give you the correct graph then you can find out the exact value okay since the small one is divided into 10 equal parts you see till where is that going and then you get the answer okay yes we draw the horizontal line very good very good Hi, Sonia Bhart. Okay, Bob is Sonia. Hi, Sonia. Chal. Next question is on your screen. Consider the data collected from the survey of the colony. You have to draw a bar graph. Guys, this is something I'm going to give you as a homework. Please do it. We can't do it here. We don't have a bar, uh, bar graph, right? So, please draw a double bar graph because we have two things to compare. How many people are watching the sport and how many people are actually participating in it? So, two things we are comparing. So, it has to be a double bar graph. Now, which sport is more popular? As you can see, cricket. 1,240 people watch cricket and 620 participate in playing it. So, that is the maximum. What is the popular one? Cricket. Which is more preferred? Watching or participating? You tell me. Which one is more preferred? Watching or participating? Okay, what happened to my... Ha, huh. exactly. Watching is more preferred than participating in the sport. Just like me. I like to watch. I don't like to participate. Awesome, awesome. Do you guys like to participate? Yeah? Or watch? So guys, this is how the double bar graph is going to look like. I'm taking a scale of 1 centimeter is equal to 200 people. You can take a scale of 1 centimeter is equal to 100 people also. You will get long, long graphs. So you can use the entire graph paper for that. And please make sure that you are coloring the two aspects because if you just draw randomly, I don't know which one is watching, which one is participating. So please make sure that you're using a color code or you're using some drawings to represent or something like that. Okay. Chal. Next. Next comes our probability. What is probability, guys? Probability is the chance of something that can happen. An event. Chance of an event happening is probability. For example, aaj kya din hai? today is Tuesday. Now, what is the probability that tomorrow will be a Sunday? Can somebody tell me? What is the probability that tomorrow is a Sunday? Wow, kya maze a jate na? Tuesday ke baad Sunday a gaya to chutti. Hi, Itkarsha. Definitely, but I definitely remember you. Exactly. The probability is zero. You can never get a Sunday after a Tuesday. We have to wait for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then comes our Sunday. You know? Yes, correct, correct. It is always out of uh, between 0 to 1. So the probability is 0. It is impossible. Exactly. Kanishka got it right. It is impossible event. Okay. So chance and probability are very closely related. They are not different. It says that probability is in the form of a number. It's more mathematical. It's a number. Okay. So what is the probability? It is the number of, sorry, it is the num different ways an event can happen divided by the total number of outcomes. Okay. So, let us look at the question here. Tell whether the following is certain, certain to happen. Matlab, there might be chances. Now, there are chances it might rain tomorrow. Chances are there because it's monsoon season. Hai na? Impossible is like tomorrow can't be a Sunday. It's an impossible. Or can happen, but not certain. 
sorry certain to happen is definitely it will happen impossible is definitely it will not happen can happen but not sure that is rainfall it can happen but i'm not sure it depends on the mood of the clouds and the rain god okay abhinav all the best bachcha hi shruti happy birthday ma'am sunday is so boring why i am just waiting for sundays okay you are older today than yesterday what is the uh this thing certain definitely impossible can happen but not sure certain to happen yes 100% you are one day older today than compared to yesterday as you move closer towards your birthday you get older and older so this is certain definitely 100% a tossed coin will land up land heads yes can happen but not certain you might get heads but you also might get tails so you're not sure there so it is not sure matlab not certain a die will be tossed dice you know no dice will be tossed and you will get eight on top what is it third one idk i don't know <laughs> chaitanya have you ever played ludo yes snake and ladder exactly it's impossible impossible the third one is impossible see no asp music the third one can't happen in a dice you only have six faces so you will only have numbers from 1 to 6 i don't know which world you are in where you have eight faces in dice it's impossible so can we land up at 8 no we cannot okay maximum 6 good job good job arsh can happen nahi bachcha yes we how can it happen which world show me the dice i want to see okay next okay so here certain to happen can have it but not certain it is an impossible event okay chal there are six marbles in a box with the numbers marked from 1 to 6 on each one of them the first one what is the probability of drawing a marble with the number 2 on it can somebody tell me so there are six marbles and each marble is numbered 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now i want a marble which is showing 2 on top of it what is the probability atif got it right kanishka got it right the bob i forgot your name bob got it right asp music you converted that into percentage okay okay it is 1 by 6 why because between your 1 2 3 4 5 6 and six, you have only one two so the number of ways you can get two is only one because you only have one two divided by the total number of marbles there are six total marbles so 1 by 6 now the second one what is the probability of drawing the number 5 what is the probability Again, one by six, ma'am. अगर डाइस को दो बार थ्रो करे तो यू दैट कैन हैपन प्राची बट एक ही बार थ्रो कर रहे हैं बच्चा इतना वो दिमाग में लगाना एक बार डाइस रोल करते हैं बस ठीक है बार बार नहीं होगा सो द सेकेंड वन इज ऑल्सो वन बाई सिक्स नंबर ऑफ वेज यू कैन गेट टू इज वन डिवाइडेड बाई द टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स नंबर ऑफ वेज यू कैन गेट फाइव ओनली वन फाइव इज दैट डिवाइडेड बाई द टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स Okay, so here we are with the V quiz. Come on, everybody, join, join, join. The link for the V quiz is in the description box. ये रहा हमारा वीडियो जो अभी चल रहा है, है ना? Let me become Shutanku here. So this is the video of ours right now. Cool. So go to the description box of this. This is the first video you can see. So the first link you can see, यहाँ पे. Okay. Click on this link to join the V quiz. and do not forget to hit the like button i'm going to like my own video 
बिकॉज आई लाइक माई सेल्फ चलो चलो आई कैन ऑलरेडी सी फाइव पीपल हैव ज्वाइंड ज्वाइंड आसम आसम मैम फिर हम वीडियो नहीं देख पाएंगे इट्स ओके बच्चा वीकुज कर लो आप Let me become chutanku here. <laughs> yes, that's my OP dialogue. I always say that. Let me become chutanku. Ah, Ash Menti Menti ka baap hai hamare pas. We quiz. ठीक है. First time. Ah, uh, Rinish, you can find the link under this video in the description box. Just click on that link, and uh, you can just apply the code two two seven three five one. Or you just go to weekquiz dot in and apply the code two two seven three five one. You want to see? I want to see you. You're seeing me right now. Chalo, let me enlarge it a bit. Let me not become chutanku. Now you're happy. Now you're able to see me. <laughs> Ajay, you want to see me while playing weekquiz? Then you'll have to have another device, bacha. Kanishka, you will have. You'll have to have another device for that. One phone se do nahi ho paenge until and unless you know how to do split screen. Acha laptop mein bhi uh, uh, Rinish, you can open a new tab. Go to uh, www. bquiz. in. It will ask for a code. So type the code two two seven three five one. Split screen. Yes, you can do split screen. ओके थैंक यू कनिष्का चलो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इन थ्री टू वन एंड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन रनीश हैज ज्वाइंड अमेजिंग अमेजिंग फाइंड द मीन ऑफ द फर्स्ट फाइव होल नंबर्स फाइंड द मीन ऑफ फर्स्ट फाइव होल नंबर्स timer is starting guys if you haven't hit the like button hit the like button awesome awesome what is happening what is the first five whole numbers first five whole numbers are 0 1 2 3 and 4 so the sum of observations yes गाइस होल नंबर्स में जीरो आता है है ना डिवाइडेड बाय द टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन फोर प्लस थ्री सेवन प्लस टू नाइन प्लस वन टेन टेन बाय फाइव इज टू यहीं पे आप मिस्टेक करते हो आई आई सेड होल नंबर्स जीरो इज वेरी मच अ पार्ट ऑफ होल नंबर आई नो अ लॉर्ड ऑफ यू सेड वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर प्लस फाइव बाई फाइव है ना गलत It's not by two. How many whole numbers are there? Chaitanya, five whole numbers are there, है ना? So ten by five, two. Only two people got it right. Very sad. Very sad. Gopika and Anant. किसी की नजर ना लगे आपको. Good job. Rest I'm not taking your I'm not taking your names only. Zero points. What is this, guys? Huh? I've been shouting from past fifty four minutes, and you do this to me? I is the sad. Ma'am, my brain is not working today. Yeah, I can see that, Chaitanya. I know you're sick. It's okay. <laughs> zero count नहीं किया भाई. Zero is our hero. Zero को count कैसे नहीं कर सकते हो आप? याद रखना next time से if somebody says whole number, zero is also a part of the family. With subject, there are minimum number of books. Social science. But social science has the maximum number of content. Oh my God! Very well done, everybody. The graph on social science is the smallest, so that's why. Anand, Gopika, Chaitanya. Uh, then we have Anshul. Then we have uh, Afhad Ani, uh, Afwahad Mead. 
I'll call you Afwa. Afwa. Afwa means. I'll call you Afwa. <laughs> and then we have Prachi. I'm not taking the names who got zero. Very bad. Very bad. Come on, guys. Fuck up. रात हो गई है और सुबह का रेडी करने का सब स्कूल है टाइम टेबल वगैरह इसलिए दिमाग कम चल रहा है अच्छा ठीक है कोई नहीं चलो जा नहीं दिया पर जब मेरा पांच बजे का क्लास होता है ना देन आई वॉन्ट हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट आंसर ठीक है ठीक है नींद आ रही है भाई हो गया पांच मिनट और फिर मैं भी जाऊंगी सोने के लिए है ना मुझे भी आ रही है नींद सुबह से हम क्लास ले रहे हैं सब्जेक्ट हुक्स आर मैक्सिम so the height for hindi is the biggest so the answer is option number d 400 for hindi let's look at the next question we are in what happened why we have anand gip uh, dip gopika i was okay gopika chaitanya anshul afwa uh candens sandens i don't know how to pronounce i'm so sorry we have deep and prachi your next fourth question is on your screens find the mode of the data the data is already arranged for you you just have to find the mode of the data okay okay hurry up hurry up uh vrl i guess there's some glitch you can try refreshing i guess so yes the answer is 2 and 5 2 is also repeating itself three times 5 is also repeating itself three times so yes two things can be the mode of the data we have anand gopika anshul chaitanya afwa kevins i don't know how to pronounce okay uh then we have deep deep okay deep ranjan deep ranjan yo yo एक ही इंसान है क्या ये यो यो और दीप रंजन इट्स लाइक आई फोन प्रो एंड आई फोन प्रो मैक्स अल्ट्रा और वट एवर दैट इज एंड देन वी हैव प्राची द फिफ्थ एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन कैन यू कॉल मी टिंटू नो नीड अच्छा यू टिंटू ओ गॉट इट गॉट इट ओके ओके आई कॉल यू टिंटू वेरी क्यूट नेम आई लव दैट नेम टिंटू ओके आई कॉल यू टिंटू Prachi, we are in the last question. Hi, Arohi. A coin is flipped to decide which team will start the game. What is the probability that your team will win? So there will be always two teams, है ना? So your team it's heads, so one by two chances that if you choose heads and if heads falls. If your tails also and tails is falling, the chance is one by two. Because when you toss a coin, only two outcomes can be there: heads or tails. so the probability is always 1 by 2 look at that everybody got the answer very good very good let us see we have anand chaudhary on the first position gopika in the second and asp music anshil in the third good job everybody very well done very well done so this is the homework for today do let me know in the comment section do not forget to subscribe to the channel like this video share this video with your friends as well so thank you so much for all the energy and love the class today please be a regular to all the classes tell your friends also ki ma'am is doing ncert highlights and i will be posting the notes in the telegram group so do not forget to join the group the link is there in the description box theek hai okay so bye bye guys